the most horrible entitled dad I've ever encountered. This happened this afternoon and I'm literally shaking with rage at the thought that anyone would be so horrible to their kids. I was in Westfield today. For those who don't know or aren't from London, Westfield is a massive shopping center located in Stratford, London. We were sitting in Starbucks drinking a well-earned coffee when a young boy runs in looking really upset. I don't notice it at first, but my eagle-eyed fiance does. Do you think that boy looks lost or is it just me? Yeah, that kid looks way too young to be here by himself. Where are his parents? Dunno, give it five minutes and if no one shows then we can think about what to do next. Five minutes passed and the poor kid is just sitting in a chair looking miserable and really upset. Me and my fiance get up and walk over to the kid. We smile at him and kneel down. Hiya, are you here with your mummy or daddy? The nice kid replies. My mummy told me that I'm not supposed to talk to strange people unless they know the password. Your mum sounds like a very smart person. Who are you allowed to talk to? My mummy said I should only talk to someone I know or if they're wearing a uniform or they know the password. Well, I don't know the password, but I do have a special badge in my pocket and I'm sure your mum won't mind you talking to me. I reach into my pocket and take out my warrant cards and open it up and show the ID and badge to the kids and I let him hold it up close so he can see my name, picture and the words police officer in red letters at the top. That's me right there, I point at my photo. I'm a policeman. Would you be able to have a chat with me for a bit? My name is Jack and this is Izzy, my fiance waves. Are you here with your mummy or daddy? My dad, he told me to wait on a bench, but that was a while ago. I don't know where he's gone. Do you know what the time was when your daddy told you to wait? Uh, the big hand was at the six and the small one was on the four. So 4.30? The kid nods. I look at my watch and see the time is 5.45, an hour and 15 minutes this kid has been sitting on his own. I feel an anger burning inside me that someone would leave a child on his own in a crowded shopping center for an hour and 15 minutes. How old are you? I'm nine, how old are you? We feel old now, she laughs. How about I go and find someone who can help us contact your dad? Why don't you sit here with my fiance and I'll go find someone who can help? I walk out of Starbucks and find a uniformed security guard standing by the exit. I take out my warrant card again and present it to him as I approach. Hey there mate, off duty police. We've got a 9 year old boy in Starbucks who can't locate his dad. It's now been nearly 90 minutes and still no sign. Okay, I'll call it into the security room. Although we haven't had a missing child alert and it's been 90 minutes you say? Yeah, it's ridiculous. Me and the security guard walk back to War Starbucks and we see the nice kid and my fiance sitting at the table. The nice kid is tapping numbers into my fiance's phone. He's tried to remember his dad's mobile number. So far, no luck. Suddenly, we hear a dialing tone coming from the phone. I remembered it. I pass the phone to the security guard. What's your dad's name? Entitled Dad. Now I know this dad's name isn't actually Entitled Dad, but imagine if the kid actually called his dad Entitled Dad. That would be jokes. Hello, Mr. ED. I'm calling from Westfield Security. Your son has been wandering this building for a while now. Please can you meet us at the security desk by the main entrance? We all leave and walk towards the security desk. The security guard pulls out a chair and the nice kid hops up. My fiance lets him use her phone to play Angry Birds. Suddenly, this very large muscular man comes right running up to the security desk, shouting the kid's name. It was the entitled dad. Where the heck did you run off to, you stupid boy? I told you to sit and wait for me. Are you Mr. ED? Yes, now can you tell me why my son is sitting here when I left him playing in the Apple store? That's at the other end of the building and two floors up. Where were you? None of your business. Now I'm leaving with my son. I need to see some identification. It's purely protocol. The entitled dad grumbles and hands over his driver's license. See, he's my son and I'm his father. We're leaving now. Not so fast, mate. I'm a police officer. I show my ID. I was the one who found your son. Now I'm going to allow you to leave, but I'm going to have to make a note of your name and address. The security guard hands me the guy's license and I take a picture on my phone. I then pass it back to the entitled dad. Why the frick did you take a picture of that? Delete it now. Because I will be contacting social services and the police safeguarding team. 
They in turn will want to speak with you and they will also contact the boy's mother. You can't just abandon a child for 90 minutes while you're off doing god knows what. Both me and the security guard have both a duty and an obligation to report this incident to the relevant people. It was an honest mistake officer, I, I just lost track of time. You don't need to report it do you? I may never get to see my son again. Me and my wife are going through a nasty divorce. If the police come knocking it will just be giving her more ammunition to take my child away from me. I would love to comment on your trashy style of parenting, but I don't want to lose my cool in a public place, especially not in front of a child. Now both of you leave before I say something I'll regret later on. I turn to the nice kid who smiles at me. Hey kid, this is for you. I pull a business card out of my wallet and pass it to him, along with a folded £5 note. That's my work number. You can use it in an emergency to reach me. You can dial it from any phone and it won't show up on any phone bills. Also, you can buy yourself some sweets or something later on. The nice kid grinned at me and then said something that honestly made me want to cry. I wish my daddy was like you. The entitled dad and his nice kid left and the security guard shook my hand and headed off. I wrapped my arm around my fiance and headed back for another coffee. Oh, well that kid is so adorable and him saying that he wished his dad was like you, well that is just heartbreaking. At least it sounds like his mum has her head screwed on and I hope that after this divorce she gets full custody of the nice kid, it's what he deserves. Anyway, props to you OP and the security guard for handling this situation well, you did a really good job. Moving on to our next story. Entitled mum steals my birthday cake for entitled kid, then he throws the whole thing away. Hey guys, so with my 19th birthday coming up, I started remembering something that happened a few years ago. So my 12th birthday came around and I was super excited. My mum has always been amazing at doing the best for my birthday parties, even though we never had much to spend. We planned on going to the park with a few of my friends so we could have some pizza and cake and play around for a while. Little did I know that one of my first encounters with an entitled mum was be at this party. So picture this, we were all sitting around these plastic tables we brought that were full of pizza and other snacks. There was a table off to the side with the things we were supposed to get into later, such as the cake and other desserts. Anyway, all of my guests were already sitting at the table eating pizza when I heard some shuffling near the dessert table. That's when I noticed some tall, rude looking lady and a little boy eyeing the dessert. I quickly told my mum and we both got up to talk to the lady, and here we go. Hi there, are you guys here for the party? I'm sorry, I don't recognize you guys. What party? Oh, well, this is my daughter's birthday party. Keep in mind, there were more balloons in the area than you could possibly count. Of course there's a party. Uh, that's nice. The entitled mum proceeds to give her entitled kid a handful of candy from the table and then, deep breath, pick up the entire cake box. I've never seen my mum look more confused in her life. My mum, being a sane human being, probably assumed the lady was going to place the cake on the table we were eating at to help out. Oh, that's alright, you can leave the cake there for now because we're still not finished with the pizza here yet. Huh? Yeah, no, I'm taking this for my son. Me and my mum looked at each other for a quick, confused second before trying to make another attempt at this psycho. Yeah, sorry, that's my daughter's birthday cake. If you want to stay until after we've sung happy birthday, then you'll be more than welcome to take a piece for your son. That's when I heard the godforsaken screech of the entitled clan for the first time in my life. Wait until after? Why? So you can all eat the whole thing? My kid will be starved by then. Yeah, I want the cake now. Like I said, this is my daughter's birthday cake, which I bought with my money for her birthday. So no, you can't have the whole thing and you can't have it right now either. If he's hungry, he can have some pizza with the other kids. I know, my mum is literally a saint offering these demonic strangers the food she paid for. My kid is much younger than yours and he deserves to have this cake much more than your spoiled brat does. Why are you even having this party for her? Yep, it's not as if this mum literally just said it was her daughter's birthday. Oh my god. At this point, I was lightly sobbing. I mean, for God's sake, who says this to a kid? Also, keep in mind, I was just turning 12. Her kid was about 10, yet according to EM, he's much younger than I was. See? And she's a cry baby too. I'm taking the cake because she doesn't deserve it. The entitled kid takes the cake out of his entitled mum's hand and just holds it, giving me an obnoxious look. The entitled mum smirks as she starts to lead her entitled kid away. Excuse me, I try my best to make the best possible memories for my child. So I spend money that I save up for a nice party like this for her with a good cake and everything. 
My child is respectful and calm and doesn't act like a disgusting screaming banshee like that thing. My mum points at the entitled kid. So I'd say she definitely deserves a nice cake on her birthday. Now, if you'll please act like normal human beings, I'll take that cake back now. The entitled mum and her entitled kid look furious. Just as the entitled mum is about to let my mum have it, EK opens the cake box and flips it upside down, dumping the whole thing on the floor. Oh, and proceeds to stomp his muddy shoes all over it. You don't want me to have it? Then fine. My mum was completely taken aback. At this point, my aunt Millie, who typically shows up late to the party, pulls up and sees the commotion. Thank the Lord. Um, hey sweetie, happy birthday. Everything okay? My mum proceeds to tell the story as EM rolls her eyes every two or three seconds. Let's just say Aunt Millie ain't having it. She turns to the entitled mother. So, quick question, how freaking pathetic do you have to be to steal a child's birthday cake? But I wanted cake! Shut the frick up, I'm not talking to you. You have no right to speak to my child like that, you lady. Well, actually, you have no right to invade someone's party, steal their property, and destroy it. Nor do you have the right to keep on harassing them like you're doing right now. My husband is a police officer, and he's on his way here now. He'll be delighted to know he'll be making a pit stop at the police station with you two. Wait, wait, we were only joking. We just wanted some cake. We'll be going now, don't worry. Don't call your husband. It's all right. Oh my god, the typical Karen response to any form of potential authority. Get the heck out of there and don't be held accountable for your hideous actions. I'm going to need an apology from both of you to these ladies right here. The entitled mum apologizes to me and my mum through her gritted teeth. The entitled kid didn't want to apologize, but the entitled mum shoved him and he let out a really sarcastic, Yes, yeah, sorry. They hobbled away, mumbling under their breath, and we waited about a minute before turning to my aunt Millie. So your husband's a police officer, huh? Oh yeah, he'll be here any minute. They both burst out into laughter at this point because Aunt Millie has never been married, she was dating some pothead yoga instructor at the time, and she's literally the most crazy, amazing wine aunt anyone could ask for. All in all, she called her yoga instructor boyfriend who actually was on his way and asked him to pick up a nice birthday cake for me. After that, it was all smooth sailing and a birthday I would definitely remember. Piece of advice, get yourselves an Aunt Millie. Aunt Millie for president. Well, I know what my pinned comment is going to be for this video. Anyway, that is the end of this one. I really hope you have enjoyed it and thank you so much once again for watching it all the way through to the end. It means a lot. If you can't get enough of the entitled parents, click on this one right away for some more crazy stories. With that being said, I will see you all tomorrow with some more Reddit content.